Hey y'all, today I'm going to be showing you how I applied color to etched glass. I had some trial and error trying to figure out a easy way to make this happen and I'm super excited to share it because I think that the look and the effect came out really well with this technique. You're going to need some etching cream. I'm using Armor Etch. Um, there are other options, but that is the etching cream I've always used. It works great. I'm going to apply the Armor Etch with a sponge paintbrush. You will also need oil-based paint pens. I purchased these on Amazon. Sharpie makes some, but these were cheaper and they work just as, as well as the, the other brands. You'll also need a microfiber cloth. I purchased these at the Dollar Tree, so it's two for a dollar um, microfiber cloth, and then a vinyl stencil. Because of the way I'm doing this project, I do think that the type of vinyl that you use will be important because we are going to be getting it wet. Um, so I'm using outdoor vinyl. I will also share that in the description box along with all the other supplies and links to all the, of the supplies that I use. Um, and then my Hello Fall design, that's my design that you can purchase in my Etsy store. You can um, purchase the decal or you can purchase the download cut file. I already have transfer tape applied to my stencil, so I'm just going to go over it really quickly and then we're going to apply this to the glass. It is recommended to use gloves when applying etching cream, um, but I'm not going to be touching it directly, but I do recommend if you have some gloves, um, you do not want to get this stuff on your skin because it will burn. Um, but whenever I'm applying the etching cream, I, there's no, as long as it's covered, I use a lot, a lot of etching cream just to make sure everything is fully covered. And then what I do is once I'm finished and I've let it sit, which I'm going to let this sit for 30 minutes. Um, you can, it, it recommends doing it less time, but I've realized that the longer I let it sit, the better effect that it has. So I'm going to apply this, I'm going to let it sit for 30 minutes, and then this um, card that I'm using, I'm actually going to scrape off the excess. So if you use a lot, you can actually put it back into the container and reuse it. So just make sure it's fully covered and then let it sit for 30 minutes.
All right, so it's been 30 minutes. I'm gonna use this. It's, this is just a plastic card that um, I have, but you can use a spoon, anything to, to scrape it off and um, put it back into the container. And then this is where having gloves would really come in handy because what you need to do after I scrape this off, I'm gonna rinse off the rest of the etching cream. Um, I'm gonna use cold water because I do not want my vinyl to come off. So um, I wouldn't use warm water because you don't wanna affect the adhesive. But if you have gloves and you can kind of go over it with your hands and uh, wash off the rest of the etching cream. And then once we do that, we'll start applying color. All right guys, so I have rinsed off all the etching cream and gone back over the vinyl just to make sure that it's it's still completely um, adhered to the glass because we're going to now start applying the color. Um, I just decided to go with, you can do it all one color, whatever makes your heart happy. I liked the um, different fall colors. So what you're going to do with these paint pens, make sure you shake them really well and then grab your um, microfiber cloth and just applying a little at a time we're going to apply the paint to the um, design and then just pat it with the cloth you don't want to wipe it you want to actually pat the paint to get the excess paint off
All right, guys, and then just let the paint dry. I think I gave it about 20 minutes before I started to remove the vinyl. But once the paint's dry, you will remove the vinyl and you will have your final product. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, definitely like and subscribe. I'll have some more tutorials out in the very near future and probably more of the colored etching because I'm really loving how this turned out and I hope you guys liked it. Bye.